He's Kyle Martino, works for NBC Sports Network, soccer analyst, is uh, part of the coverage there, the Premier League, former USA soccer player, and uh, he joins us now. Let, let me start with the poll question here, Kyle. Uh, yesterday, feel like a win, a loss, or a tie? Yeah, I'm, I'm Monday morning perspective, right? I'm sitting here, and, and, it's, and it felt like a loss yesterday, and it, and it feels like a win today based on the perspective of if you would have offered us four points six months ago in the group of death after the first two games, they would have taken it. But it, it feels a little bit like the John Hughes film where Molly Ringwald doesn't end up with the the very handsome guy who looks like he's 30 in high school in front of his Porsche at the end. Uh, pretty in pink, right? Yeah. yeah. Wait, is that 16 candles? I don't know. I feel like they're all <laughs> the exact same plot. It's Jake just, Ryan. Like, yeah, Jake Ryan, 16 candles. There he is. There you go. So uh, that that's what we feel like today. We're Molly yeah, Ringwald. I, mean, I feel like Mo- Molly had a, a great arc. She learned a lot about herself. She still really she figured out who her best friend is. But uh, unfortunately, we had the, the cute guy right in our hands, and it slipped through our fingers. All right, what right happened? What happens in the final minute? How does that so happen? It, a, a, a series of things that that if you would have asked me to bet my mortgage on, I would have I, I would have said wouldn't happen. One is. The experience of, of Michael Bradley, um, who for me is, is, our, is our most important player, picks up the ball in the middle and gives it away in such a bad position so cheaply. And that, that starts not only Port- Portugal on the counterattack, but on the counterattack getting the ball to the one guy, Cristiano Ronaldo, who we don't want to get the ball. It's like LeBron James on a fast break without anyone standing in front of him. That was basically he, he was going to do something dangerous. There's 30 seconds left. And we also had brought on... Uh, another center back in Omar Gonzalez, who was supposed to do exactly what he didn't, which is sit on the back line and oh. handle balls that were coming across. Uh, Jeff Cameron fell asleep for a moment. It was sort of a, a comedy of errors and a domino effect that started from the most experienced player giving away the ball in an area that, I, 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 it's like I said before, I would bet my mortgage he wouldn't do. What's the soccer etiquette for Thursday's match with Germany? Yeah, it's funny. Everyone, everyone's saying, you know, is this just the uh, the under the table handshake? But um, but I, I I think that these are two incredibly competitive guys with a history. Talking about your Germany's coach Jürgen Love and and the, and the German legend and United States coach Jürgen Klinsmann. Who, if you go back a little bit, there was suggestions that Jürgen Klinsmann, when Jürgen was the coach of Germany and Jürgen Love was his assistant, Jürgen Love was actually the, the mastermind. And I, I think Klinsmann wants to show up Germany a little bit and prove that. No, it was him all along that helped to change this this path in Germany and the revolution that that's, has seen a much more attractive style and a very dominant team. And, and and once they get into this game, I I think players don't know how to turn it down. They don't know how to switch it off. But once you get towards the 70th minute, 75th minute, if it's still close, both of these teams are going to be saying, you know, we're going through. Why would why would we? cut each other's throat. You know, I think you're going to see a, a trial by combat where they're both playing with the, those noodles that you use in a pool as opposed to a scimitar. Finish this sentence. If the United States does not advance to the knockout round. It will be what everyone expected, but at this point it will be a mass, massive, massive disappointment. What if the U.S. does advance? Best case scenario. It'll be such great crow for all the people that thought that there was no chance the United States could get out of the group phase. And then at that point, Jurgen Klinsmann has, has solidified himself as, uh, as not only the right guy to move them forward, but a guy that probably has, has, has moved them um, up, a, up a rung on the ladder uh, more so than maybe anyone since Bruce Arena in that performance in 2002. Well, wait a minute, Kyle. I, so Jurgen Klinsmann was playing like these were Jedi mind games to start when he said that he didn't have high expectations and we can't win. And so now we're I'm going to give him credit for playing mind games. Is that what we're I mean, doing? It's the perfect uh, under promise over deliver. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's business. He's a, it's a terrific businessman. I thought he was just being honest. Now I he's like Phil Jackson. Like there's some Zen. He's Mr. Miyagi here. What? I mean, if he starts talking in, in riddles, I mean, then I'm going to be really worried. If he, if he starts if he, if he starts talking like Yoda. I think I might have to move to Germany. Like, uh, safe travels, Kyle. Great to talk to you Thanks, again. Jeff. Kyle Martino, NBC Sports Network soccer analyst, uh, former Team USA player.